Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a fun problem all to do with triangles and integers. Okay, so here's the problem I've got today. Uh, I want to know, is it possible to draw an equilateral triangle in the xy plane with integer coordinates? Okay, so we're looking at triangles in the xy plane, and by integer coordinates, I simply mean both the x and the y coordinate are integers. Now, of course, we can do right angle triangles. We could just look at, say, this one here, where this coordinate here is 0, 0, this one here is 1, 0, and this one here is 0, 1. That works fine. We can also do isosceles triangles as well. If we look at this one here, where this thing here is, say, minus 1, 0, this one here is 1, 0, and this here is 0, 3, or something like that. So we can do isosceles triangles as well. And of course we can just do scalene ones as well. I don't know, take this rogue looking triangle here, where this thing here is, I don't know, 8 minus 1, this one here is minus 1, 0, and this one here is 1, oh, sorry, 0, 1. Something like that, I don't know. But we want to know, can we do the same thing for equilateral triangles? Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to get stuck into a solution. <laughs> Okay, so the solution to this problem is no, we can't. And the reason we can't is because if we could, then we'd sort of prove that the square root of 3 was irrational, which is a contradiction. And in fact, I've proved uh, this, well, this result before. I've made two videos in which I prove that the nth root of a non-power of n is irrational. And of course, 3 isn't a square number, and thus by those two proofs, the square root of 3 must be irrational. Okay, I'll leave links to both those videos in the description below. But anyway, let's get on with uh, the problem today. We're going to suppose for contradiction we can draw an equilateral triangle, and we'll see where our um, contradiction comes into play. Okay, so suppose we can, then without loss of generality, we may assume that one of the vertices is at the origin, because we can always just translate our triangle uh, up and down along the xy plane, um, that's not going to change any of the lengths of the triangle or any of the angles or anything like that. So it'll still be an equilateral triangle. So we're going to assume one of them is at the origin and then we'll label the two other vertices A, B and C, D. Okay, so we've got our triangle with vertices 0, 0, A, B and C, D, say. Okay, well, we know it's an equilateral triangle, so each of the lengths are the same. So what's the length between this vertex and this vertex? It's the square root of a squared plus b squared, just by Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, the, uh, dif uh, the distance between this vertex and this vertex is c squared plus d squared. Or sorry, the square root of c squared plus d squared. And similarly, the distance between that vertex and that vertex is the square root of a minus c squared plus b minus d squared. Okay, but we've got a lot of square roots in this thing here. It's a little bit ugly. Let's cancel that out by just squaring everything. Okay, so we get a squared plus b squared equals c squared plus d squared is equal to a minus c squared plus b minus d squared. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is call this thing here L. So L is equal to this thing, which is also equal to this thing, which is also equal to this thing. Now, if we look at this thing here, we can see embedded within this, we've got an a squared plus b squared and a c squared plus d squared. So perhaps we can use that to simplify a bit more, or to gain some sort of information. Well, let's expand this thing out. So we get L is equal to this thing here, which is a squared minus 2ac plus c squared plus b squared minus 2bd plus d squared. Okay, so just expanding that out gives me this. Now we've got an a squared plus a b squared there, which is this thing here, which is precisely L. So let's rub the a squared plus b squared out and put plus L. And similarly, we've got a c squared plus d squared, which is there, which is also L. So I'm going to rub out the c squared and d squared and just put a 2 in front of the L here. So we have L is equal to 2L minus 2AC minus 2BD. Now what I'm going to do is bring the 2AC and the 2BD to this side and then the L onto this side. So on the right hand side, I get 2L minus L, which is L. And I get 2AC plus BD is equal to L. Okay, so I've got another sort of way of expressing L as A times C plus B times D. Now what I'm going to do is use an, inequ uh, sorry, an equality um, to help us solve the problem. And as I said, we're going to try and work towards proving that the, root, the square root of 3 is rational, which is obviously a contradiction. 
Okay, so I've written a little claim up on the whiteboard. I claim that a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared is the same as ac plus bd all squared plus ad minus bc all squared. Now, I'm not going to prove this, but it's not too difficult to prove it yourself. Just by expanding out this right-hand side, you're going to see that uh, here we're going to get a squared c squared plus b squared d squared plus 2acbd. And on this side, we're going to get a squared d squared plus b squared c squared minus 2abcd. So the 2abcd minus 2abcd will cancel nicely. So then I'll have a squared c squared plus b squared d squared plus a squared d squared uh, plus b, said b squared c squared. I can factor out the a squared to give me a squared c squared plus d squared. And then I can do the same with the b squared. So I'll get a squared times c squared plus d squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared. Then factoring out the c squared plus d squared gives me a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared. Oh, I guess I just proved it via words. Anyway, if you want to go look into that in more detail, just expand this out and you'll see uh, what I mean. Anyway, I'm not going to prove this. Oh, I guess I just proved it by words. Uh, but we're going to use this. Now, essentially, we're just going to shove in this thing here. Okay? So here I've got L. A squared plus B squared is L. C squared plus D squared is also L. And on this side here, AC plus BD all squared. Well, we've got AC plus BD there. Uh, so AC plus BD is L over 2, so this thing here is L over 2, all squared, and then we've got plus AD minus BC squared, which we can't really write in terms of L just yet. This thing here is L squared, this thing here is L squared over 4, so bringing this onto this side, I get 3L squared over 4, so I get 3L squared over 4 is equal to AD minus BC all squared. Okay, now we're almost done. Let's bring the 4 onto this side here and the L squared as well. So on the left-hand side, I've got 3 equals uh, AD minus BC squared times 4 divided by L squared. Uh, let me just rub this off and write it here. So I've got 3 is equal to AD minus BC squared times 4 all divided by L squared. But now notice that the right-hand side is a perfect square. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, is uh, is the quotient of perfect squares? Um, two is a uh, sorry four is a square. It's two squared, and then this thing here, a d minus b c is an integer because a b c d are integers. Remember from the start, a b c d are integer points, and then l is an integer because it's just something some some integer squared plus some integer squared. Okay, so I can write this as two a d minus b c divided by l all squared. So this is some integer and then we're squaring, oh sorry, an integer divided by an integer, and then I'm squaring it. So this might be a, a fraction, but that's fine. It's a, a rational number, and then I'm squaring it. So taking square roots of both sides, I get the square root of three is equal to this rational number, and that's our contradiction, okay? Um, so yeah, that's the end of the proof. We, su we supposed we could draw an equilateral triangle uh, with integer points on the xy plane, and then uh, using some sort of identities, expanding things out. And I guess the only non-trivial thing or thing which may not have been clear is to use this identity here. Um, but playing about with it, you, it would have been, especially since you knew this thing here, you would want to write a, uh, L and A squared plus B squared and C squared plus D squared in terms of this sort of thing. Anyway, you get to this line here. And then you can conclude that the square root of 3 is rational, which is obviously not true. And if you've not seen proofs for that, check out my videos, which I'll leave uh, links for in the description below. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you a bit of an, a little extension task if you want. We were working in the 2D plane, but is it possible to draw an equilateral triangle in, say, the 3D plane? So your three points, your three vertices of your triangle now have three coordinates, an x, y, and a z coordinate. So now is it possible to draw an equilateral triangle? Okay, so I'll, I'll leave that as an extension sort of bonus task for you. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my other fun maths videos as well. But I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.